Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Books for research. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm at books.google.com. And while I'm signed into a Google account here, you don't have to be signed into a Google account to do most of what I'm about to show you. At the end of the video, I'll show you the benefits of being signed into a Google account when you're using Google Books. So let's start with a pretty generic search. Let's say the War of 1812. A yeah, pretty broad search here. And when we do our search, we'll, as we see, find a whole bunch of books about the War of 1812. Now, by default, we're going to find books that are labeled with any view. So some of the things we'll be able to preview, some we'll only find a title for and perhaps and the cover page, and some we'll find as full view. So we can refine that to say preview and full view. Preview will give us a portion of the book, but not all of the book, and full view will give us all of the book. Now we can refine this further by publication type. We can have books, magazines, or newspapers. I'm gonna go with books. And we can refine it according to publication date, 21st century, 20th, 19th, or even a custom range of dates. In this case, I'm going to go with 19th century. And here we have some full books that we can read online. So let's go here and let's take a look at this one, The Naval War of 1812 or The History of the United States by Theodore Roosevelt in 1882. So let's open that in a new tab. And when we do that, we're going to see that War of 1812 is appearing on page 48 within the book, and that it appears 90 times in this particular book. Now what's really neat about this is we can now search inside the book. So let's search inside the book and see what we can find about New Orleans. And there we now have 84 results about the Battle of New Orleans. And we can now read that section of the book, but there are some additional tools that we can use here. In the upper right corner, in our More Actions menu, we can select Share a Clip of this book, and we can actually clip a section of that book and we'll get that text in plain text, and we can just copy that and then put it into a document if we want to. We can get a link to an image of that section of the book, or we can even get an embed code to embed that section of the book into a website or blog post. Now, we can also, from that menu, download the entire copy of this book as a PDF or as an EPUB. And we'll see here, we also have this little handy option for find in a library. When I click on that, that'll take me to WorldCat where I can find a list of libraries in my area that have a copy of that book. You can see here are all the libraries near me that have a copy of that book. Let's go back to the book itself though. And we can also go up here to look at the book in different page views. And we can exit out of that preview. And again, we'll see more about the book itself, who the publisher was. We can look at the table of contents, create a citation for the book. And we'll see those three options right there. And we can copy that information and paste it into the document in which we're going to use it. And again, down here, we see more books or more libraries where this book is available. Now, I have this other little option here called Add to My Library. And if you are signed into a Google account, you will see this option to add to my library. If you're not signed into a Google account, you won't be able to add it to a library. I'm gonna add it to my library. And we can see here, I have some 
list in my library. The defaults are favorites and reading now. But you see, I also have a list that I've previously created called War of 1812 Books. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to add that to my shelves in my library. You can create a new shelf at any time from your account by just clicking on the New Shelf button and say Books to Share with My Students. And you can make it public or private. And I'm going to make this one public so I can share it with my students. And I'm gonna create that bookshelf. And we'll go down here and at the bottom, we'll see my War of 1812 books and my books to share with students will appear when I refresh up here. Now, let's go back in and look for another book. So I'm going to go here, back to my War of 1812, and let's see what happens when we do preview and full view, and we do books that are published in the 21st century. So in this case here, this book, I'm going to open it in a new tab, and I'm first going to use that More Actions, and I'm going to look at this and say, I want to find it in a library and see if I can find it in a library that's near me. And sure enough, it's in a library near me. And I can still search inside this book. If I want to do my search for New Orleans, we can see all the pages there that are in the preview. And we can look at the book. We can look at that section of the book. And you can see here, I can even share the book itself. But you'll notice what I don't have that I had with the full view book is I don't have the clipping tool and I can't share just a section of the book. I can share the entire book when I use that share button. Now, I am going to add this book to my library. I'm going to add it to Books to Share with My Students, and I'll add it to my War of 1812 books, and click Done. And there we have my list of books, Books to Share with My Students. I'll look at that one, and I can share this library with my students will see it's added to two shelves and those are the two shelves that they're added to. So that's an overview of how you can use Google Books for research and create collections of Google Books to share with others. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.